According to WWE.com, Reigns will be replaced by Raw General Manager Kurt Angle, while SmackDown star AJ Styles will fill in for Bray Wyatt and treat fans to a dream match against Finn Balor, due to medical issues impacting two WWE superstars scheduled to appear at WWE TLC, tables, ladders, and chairs, streaming live on WWE Network this Sunday. The special event will now feature Kurt Angle competing in a WWE ring for the first time in more than 11 years, as he replaces Roman Reigns. In addition, former WWE champion AJ Styles will replace Bray Wyatt and face the demon Finn Balor. The Shield's official reunion on the October 9th edition of Raw was a massive viewership hit, and it's clear that fans were thrilled to see the star-studded trio back for one more run, but their first match together in more than three years isn't happening, at least for now. According to WrestlingInc.com, WWE is testing members of the Raw roster for the mumps, which could be the illness that is affecting Reigns, Wyatt, and Bo Dallas, and has resulted in WWE taking desperate measures to revamp the TLC card. Although unfortunate circumstances will delay the return of the Shield, news of Angle's in-ring return, and a dream match between Baylor and Styles has created a buzz that certainly wasn't there prior to that announcement. TLC will mark Raw's last pay-per-view before Survivor Series, and is one of the brand's last brand-specific shows, before we get to the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania season. Due to competition from both the NFL and MLB, Raw is fresh off its least viewed episode in four months, but the buzz that has resulted from Angle stepping back into the ring could be enough to make TLC a turning point for the red brand. Still, Raw viewership has largely been down since football season began, so there's a lot of pressure on Reigns, Rollins, Angle and styles to deliver the goods and give fans a reason to tune in at a time when they typically don't. WWE, after all, will want to make sure that TLC is better in actuality than the poor build to it, especially now that Wyatt vs. Baylor and the return of The Shield won't be happening. After Bray Wyatt's sister Abigail gimmick had already been labeled an instant fail by many fans, Wyatt's absence from TLC now gives fans a marquee bout between Baylor and Styles that could and should set the stage for the reunion of the club. Back in 2014, when the Wyatt family and The Shield were at their peaks, they were both top merchandise sellers, proving that stables can be massive draws when booked right. TLC could be the perfect opportunity to create yet another major stable when WWE has the ability to have Styles or Baylor emerge as the leader of the club, a group that has the potential to be a substantial draw with either star leading the way. Both Baylor and Styles are featured stars on WeShop.com, which likely means that they are among the company's best sellers, something that is supported by Google search data that indicates that Styles is WWE's number three seller and Baylor ranks among the top 12. Given the popularity of the Bullet Club and the group's impressive merchandise sales, and the fact that the club is basically WWE's bootleg version of Bullet Club, TLC is the ideal place and time to have either Baylor or Styles rejoin forces with Garla Anderson and Luke Gallows. Baylor, in particular, is stuck in a rut right now and would really benefit from a change of pace by being paired with Gallows and Anderson, potentially turning heel in the process. Either way, the popularity of both the club and Bullet Club makes the randomly thrown together Styles Baylor dream match a potentially huge moment that could reinvigorate both Styles and Baylor. Braun Strowman pins Kurt Angle. With TLC no longer marking the official return of the Shield, the pay per view should serve as a means to rebuild Braun Strowman. Especially with no Brock Lesnar or John Cena around, Strowman is the biggest attraction that Raw currently has, something that YouTube data certainly backs up, but his disappointing loss to Lesnar at no mercy made him look rather weak, and now has WWE looking to rebuild him. WWE has started that process by giving Strowman clean, lopsided wins over Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins and Matt Hardy, but it's imperative that Strowman leave TLC as the most impressive man in the main event. Raw is inching closer to Survivor Series, Royal Rumble and WrestleMania season, 
and assuming we don't get surprise returns from stars like The Undertaker and Goldberg, WWE will be relying heavily on the drawing power of Strowman to keep fans around in late 2017 and early 2018. After being pinged at no mercy for just the second time in his career, Strowman has a massive opportunity to make a major statement at TLC when he'll compete in a match that is tailor-made for him, and he can do just that by pinning Angle in Angle's first match in 11 years. Everyone knows that Angle is a part-time attraction who is stepping up at the last minute to fill in for Reigns, so a loss certainly won't hurt them. In fact, it's an easy story to tell here, Angle wrestles in WWE for the first time in more than a decade and takes the pin, causing fans to wonder if he still has it. This could potentially lead to a second major match for Angle, another smart decision, where he would face someone like Strowman at a Big Four show, perhaps the Royal Rumble. Destruction and devastation is what Strowman does best, and a TLC match involving eight of Raw's biggest stars is the ideal platform for the monster among men to demonstrate why he's a blockbuster attraction that should carry the company into next year. Getting the pin in the eight-man main event would accomplish that goal and help re-establish Strowman after his disappointing loss at No Mercy.